We have a, a research program at the Noble Foundation uh, focused on improving beef cattle efficiency on pasture. And a key component of that is the ability to measure how much pasture is available to animals and eventually how much forage an individual animal is consuming. One of the first steps in doing that is to improve the accuracy with which we can measure forage in a pasture. Forage mass measurement is probably one of the most important things that we can know about an area that we're going to be grazing. Uh, we want to try and match the uh, forage uh, availability with the, the demand, but uh, a lot of times the, the limiting factor is knowing how much forage is being produced and how much forage is available at any given time. And so forage mass measurement is, uh, is what we do to, to, to get an idea of that. The two technologies that we're really working with are the uh, rising plate meter and the forage sled. This technology is basically based on the idea that uh, the height of the forage, and in this case the compressed height of the forage, is related to the amount of plant biomass that's there. Well, these, uh, the technologies that we're looking at today that are, that are doing a better job of managing uh, and measuring forage mass are going to help us do a much better job uh, managing our, our grazing experiments. The rising plate meter it consists of a, of a plate, 15 inches in diameter, a metal shaft that is grooved to fit a potentiometer. And as you place the, the plate meter down into the forage, the forage mass will push the plate meter up, causing the potentiometer to roll up against these grooves. And then that potentiometer measurement is actually recorded and can be displayed here on this little display panel. When we actually take a measurement, the actual measurement itself is called a plonk. So we talk about uh, going out in the field and going plonking. This is a Genquip manufactured unit. Genquip is a manufacturer in New Zealand. They are commercially available here in the United States, but there's only one commercial supplier. The way we are using it now in research is we're actually recording these individual uh, plate meter heights that we're then uh, using to help us calibrate the forage sled. And we also generate equations that we can actually program back into this rising plate meter so that we can uh, get forage mass when we go out and actually take these measurements. This unit is set up to take a minimum of 30 measurements. And at that point, it'll give us a beep and tell us that you have 30. So what it's doing is it's taking a running average of those measurements for these two acre paddocks here, we're taking a minimum of 30 plunks and we're spacing that out over about 11 to 12 steps. And that's giving us a real good coverage area. We can get an instant estimate of what the forage mass is versus having to wait to, to drive samples. With this, we can take measurements and adjust stocking rates that day. This is a uh, forage sled. It's a piece of equipment that's designed to measure forage mass. The big difference between the rising plate meter that we're using and the forage sled is that uh, the, the sled actually has a GPS unit in it. So not only do we get the height, but we get information about where that height measurement was made and what time that height measurement was made. The basic design of the forage sled is, is this fairly large sled and it uh, runs on fairly narrow tracks that keep a good contact with the soil. This plate, or the foot, is able to rise up and down freely as it goes over the, uh, over the uh, vegetation. The runners are running on the ground, so the difference between those is the height of the vegetation. The foot, when it rises, it turns this shaft, which turns another shaft, and we have a little potentiometer that measures resistance, and that resistance is logged in the data logger. This is the brains of the forage sled. We're using a little microcomputer uh, with a shield on here that has a GPS module. And the GPS module is kind of driving everything. So every time it gets a good GPS fix every second, then it pulls out here and a signal will come in from the potentiometer that tells where the setting was on the potentiometer. And all of that gets uh, logged on this little SD card and we can put it in the computer and get all of the information about where and when and what the measurements were at the time. The idea with this technology is to try and cover as much of the ground as you can. This is about a, a two acre paddock 
and he's just going to drive through here and make kind of a figure eight pattern. We want to be including areas near the fence, out towards the center, up towards where they're being fed, down where the water is, and you kind of just want to cover the entire area. So the best way to get that pattern is to kind of run a figure eight or a zigzag pattern through the pasture. Um, this sled that we're using for, for our work here at the Noble Foundation is actually based on a, a design that uh, Kansas State University had developed and we've made some modifications in the electronics. At this point, this equipment is a prototype, so there aren't really any commercially available units like this. Right now, with the way we're using it and the way it's configured, it's primarily a research tool at this time, but I, I, th I could see something similar to it being something that would be used by producers. The forage mass measurement technologies that we're developing here, that are in some of them in the prototype stages. We've got ideas to eventually get those into the hands of producers where they can do a much better job of knowing how much forage they have available to their animals and a, and a much better job of managing their resources. That's going to make them more profitable. Uh, it's going to make beef production be more economical, uh, lower the, the cost of beef for consumers, and it's going to help protect the environment.